Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome to the RC Retro channel. In this episode, we're taking a look at something a little different than what you would normally see on the channel. Actually, this is a lot different. I've never had anything that flew before. But as many of you know, this channel is really dedicated to vintage or retro themed radio controlled cars, buggies, stadium trucks, and even monster trucks. So when the people over at RTR Hobby or Ready to Run Hobby reached out to me and asked me if I'd like to test out one of the helicopters on the channel, I didn't want to pass it up. I think this would be kind of fun. So they were kind enough to send me this 148th scale C186 Max Gyro Stabilized Helicopter. Now this is an RTF ready to fly right out of the box. It retails on their website for $99.99. So it's obviously not very big coming in at 148th scale. The box is kind of small, but it does look very detailed. So let's take a look and open this up and see what you get. Okay, so upon opening up the box, we have the instruction manual. Take a look at this. We have to pay careful attention to this and make sure I read it. If I never flew a helicopter before, good bathroom material right here. All right. Ah, let's take the plastic off. Let's start with the little things first. So we have some tools and what appears to be the rear rotors for the tail in here. Some spare propeller blades, I guess in case you break them. And then we have the USB charging cord, which I guess you could charge it to any little power block or even your computer. They say it takes about 60 minutes to charge the battery. Speaking of the battery, I think when I was reading, you can buy additional batteries up to maybe two or three, but I think this one comes with the battery in it already. We'll take a look at that. As far as the remote, yeah, a lot of movement with these. <laughs> I'm gonna have to figure out what each one does and we'll take a closer look at that later on when I figure that out, but I do see something with speed and automatic takeoff and landing here. So those are nice features, but we'll test those out in a little bit. And then you have your helicopter right here. And as I had hoped, very detailed, very small. <laughs> um, I don't see, oh, this might be a light in the front. I'm not 100% sure. i to wait till I turn it on. But I do see a red LED light in the rear over here. So that'd be pretty cool if you start to run it as it gets dark outside or at night, you'd be able to see it. Um, let's see, what else? Battery, I think this is the battery right here. I think it's pinchy, oh, aha, very easy. Check that out. You have a lithium ion battery, 350 milliamp. Um, I guess you can get a couple more of these, but they only sent me one. And it just kind of snaps right back in like that. Oh, it's on. Oh, look at that, blinking. And that's on back there. I'll have to see what that blinking is all about and read the manual. <laughs> but this is pretty cool. I'm looking forward to getting this out. Very detailed. And uh, without even flying this, I think I kind of want more of these. I think it'll be pretty cool. I think my kids are going to love this too. All right. So that's pretty much all you get. And now it's time to get it out for some fun. All right. So I am inside. I probably should be outside. <laughs> but I'm going to get outside in a little bit. Just want to play around first. All right, so I'm going to turn this on. Hold the power button down for two seconds. Blinking lights. Let's see. And then had to. They said in the manual to push up on this stick right over here so you hear that beep. And then I could hit the auto takeoff. Auto takeoff. That's not working. That worked. Oh. Auto take off. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That is just hovering up there. Check that out. All right, let me switch camera angles and get up close. That is pretty cool. Just hovering there on its own. Awesome. Cool. Now, this is just as easy to land as it did to take off. We just hit the automatic down button. 
and check that out. Ah, cool. Easy takeoff, easy land. Now we're going to get it outside to fly it around and have some fun. Put this on. Okay, filming. Step back. Take off. And there we go. We are up. And we are going. We don't want to go too high. Let's come down. Let's go forward. Going forward. All right. There you go. Turn around. Coming towards me. Gonna hover a little bit. It is a little breezy here. I feel like it's fighting the wind a little bit, but we're making progress and going forward. Going up. Let's bring it down. Oh, little wind just took it. There you go. Let's go back in this direction. There you go. Oh, a little windy. Come down a little bit. Yeah, there is some wind today. You can see those trees in the back. Let's bring it down a little bit. Go forward. Because we're getting close to the fence. Oh, wrong way. Come on, guy. You can fight it. Come forward. He, the helicopter is making its way back to me. There you go. Now let's try to get no, no. Hey. <laughs> Let's go back this way. And we'll make another pass. Sorry about the sun. Let's go back this way. So the wind is blowing from my back towards the helicopter, so it is having a little bit of a hard time coming back towards me. So let's put this into fast speed. Bring it down a little bit. So we are on level three of speed right now. I'm just gonna keep going back and forth a little bit. See, it's going into the wind right now, so it's not moving as fast. Oh, we're gonna... Come back. Cool. I love this thing. It's pretty cool. We'll bring it down on just a little bit in front of us. It's coming down, it's coming down, it's coming down. Hey, right, see how cool that is. And we'll take a we'll walk alongside of it, film it. Woo! Oh! <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Shut the camera off and get this thing back up in the air. All right, so this seems pretty durable because we just kind of crashed it and it's still in one piece. And all you got to do to simply restart it is hold the auto up button. Wait for it to beep. There you go. Takes right off. Gonna go up. And we're right back in business. It's a little sunny in that direction, so I'm going to move back over here. See, now that I'm a little bit more used to the controls, 
They go a little faster. But again, we're going into the wind. Oh, see that? Now, I'm not a meteorologist or a weatherman, but I do know it's a little bit breezy out here and I would, wouldn't consider it very windy. But we are moving. All right, so we had this up in the air for about 10 minutes. Um, you probably didn't see all 10 minutes of filming, because I want to keep this video kind of short. But uh, probably could have got another couple minutes out of this. Let's see. It has the indicator on the bottom. So we're at one blue dot out of the four. So probably, like I said, another minute or two of flight. Because um, they said you'll get about 10 to 15 minutes uh, with that battery, which is probably why they give you the option of purchasing more batteries with this helicopter. But uh, that's about it for now. Had some fun with it. Let's get it back to the studio and I'll talk a little bit more about it. Wow, that was a lot of fun. This is definitely a great little beginner helicopter if you're considering getting into the hobby. It is very different than running a radio controlled on-road or off-road vehicle. Um, but it definitely adds another dimension to the hobby that I could definitely see myself getting into. As a matter of fact, RTR Hobby or Ready to Run Hobby has a variety of different helicopters that range in price from $99.99 such as this one to much more expensive ones as you get a little bit more comfortable with the hobby. Now again, this helicopter is $99.99 and if you're interested in this helicopter, you can find the link to it down below in the description as well as the website for RTR Hobby and a 15% discount code. That's a substantial discount right there. Before you click on that link and head over to rtrhobby.com, I just want to offer some suggestions. First off, if you're planning on buying this helicopter, I definitely suggest getting yourself another battery. The one that I had lasts for about 10 to 15 minutes and that's exactly the runtime I got when I was out there on the baseball field. Next, don't do as I do and run this inside. This is your first time running a helicopter. That was a bad choice on my part. <laughs> Definitely take it out to a big field far away from trees because if you're inexperienced with helicopters, you definitely don't want to get it stuck up on the tree somewhere. Big open fields, my suggestion. Next, start practicing on slow speed. Gives you three speed options. Definitely take it slow, start off with that, and then eventually you could ramp it up. And last but not least, make sure you read the manual. I'm guilty of this and most times I just glance over manuals, but this case I actually read it in depth. I wanted to get familiar with all the options on the remote and just have a good idea before I went out and just put it up in the air. So I actually held the remote in my hand and just played around with the movement of the joysticks and kind of practiced a little bit because you know you are moving two different joysticks simultaneously to get flight and move and turn and all that. So, you know, just make sure you go over the manual and just get used to the remote before you go out there or else uh, you're either going to crash land or you're going to fly off into no man's land or maybe even get stuck in a tree like I said earlier, right? So, all right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you consider purchasing one of these. Head over to RTR Hobby or readytorunhobby.com. Um, get your promo code for 15% off. And uh, have fun with these. Take your kids out with them. They're going to have a blast. I know I did. And I'm going to actually take mine out again with my kids and have some fun. And it's the fall. And before you know it, the holiday season is right around the corner. This would make a perfect gift, okay? So again, links are in my uh, description down below. Retro 15 saves you 15%. Thank you so much for your support. And I'll check you all in my next video. Take care now.